what's going on guys welcome back to another video today i'm going to be talking to you about my experience with lean bulking versus dirty bulking but first let's go to work <laughs> Guys, I'm now on my 15. And we'll be eating these two protein bars right now. It's also 11 o'clock. This is 370 calories, 26 grams of protein. Anyways, where were we? Oh, yes. Celine bulking. What is that? Lean bulking is when you eat in a 200 to 300 calorie surplus and you're eating mostly healthy foods the whole way. So you're just eating like the same like, I mean it doesn't have to be chicken, broccoli, and rice obviously, but you know like meals that are like that. So you're like limiting your fast food intake and all of that. Whereas on a dirty bulk, you can pretty much eat whatever you want. Like fast food is definitely a viable option for that. When I first started working out, which was about a year ago now, I was dirty bulking and it did not go my way at all. I gained about a pound or two a week over a span of like six months. So I gained like, I went from like 145 to 150 pounds that I was skinny fat at the time too. Went all the way up to 180. And I'll show a picture of what I looked like. And it was just not a good time. I started working out because I was insecure about my body and gaining all that weight and fat made me, it made it even worse. But if you're like truly starting to go to the gym to just get stronger, you don't really care about your looks or anything. I mean, you can dirty bulk if you want, but I feel like most of us truly should just do a nice clean lean bulk because I mean, at the end of the day, you do want to look good. You don't want to put all this work in and just still feel crappy about yourself. And that's what I didn't realize at the time. I didn't know I was, I didn't know I was going to end up looking like that, but I did. And it was really just a bunch of wasted time and food. Lots of food was eaten during that time. I was eating like 3,800 calories a day by the end of it and that was all that's a lot of food for me my, I wish I had a metabolism like Joe Fazer, but it just isn't there quite yet anyways guys I'm gonna finish eating these two bars up and I will see you guys at lunch <laughs> That's right guys, for lunch I will be making some chili cheese dogs with a little healthy twist on them. We'll be using these 45 calorie per franc hot dogs. And we will also be using some deer chili that my uncle made me. With some whole wheat bones, which doesn't make that big of a difference, but you might as well. And some Smart Pop as a chip replacement. <laughs> This looks absolutely delicious. I'm gonna eat this and watch some YouTube. I will catch up with you guys after. All right guys, just finished up my lunch, watched some Remington James make some anabolic foods. Now we are watching some sebum. I think I'm gonna start taking some BCAAs. Maybe I'll look like him one day. Anyways, time to head back to work. I will catch up with you guys right after that. So I just got off of work. Time is now 5.15. I'm going to go have my pre-workout meal. It is some tilapia and some sides. I'm not sure exactly what the sides are, but I will show you guys when I get in there. 
just finished that meal up that was some blackened tilapia some breaded okra and some long grain and wild rice it was around 500 calories worth of food it was quite well probably gonna eat an orange when i get home but let's go there right now and get changed for the gym <laughs> Back in my apartment along with my pre-workout apple i'm going to have some actual pre-workout itself that's right we've got the rice tiger's blood it's doctor's orders that you take about four fifths a scoop of this for a proper chest day this stuff is so powdery and mixes so well and it tastes incredible by far my favorite pre-workout that was the first time I've ever recorded myself scooping a thing in pre-workout. That could have gone very wrong. And it's got this nice clear color. It's like pineapple and strawberry and coconut is what Tiger's Blood flavor actually is. Oh my gosh, that stuff tastes so good every single time. I wish they would make a non-stem version. I could just dr literally just drink because that's how good that stuff is right there. Anyways, I'm going to eat and drink this and I will be right back. Let's get it, baby. Also, Black Eagle, please consider sponsoring your boy. Dang, that was a six transition, Colton. Don't worry, guys. I know. I know. Alright guys, just finished that chest workout today. That was a lot of fun. Now I'm going to head home and make myself a post-workout meal. Alright guys, for the post-workout meal, we will be having 
chicken sandwich, some pop, smart pop, some mixed nuts, and an orange. You guys may be asking, Colton, why are you eating another orange? Well, it's because it leads to more gains. <laughs> no, but for real, I just have an absurd amount of oranges in my home right now, and I just love them. Also, a nice little condiment that I like to mix up is some fat-free ranch. I do about one tablespoon of that, and then I just squirt some of that hot sauce on it, and I just mix it together. It is very good. Let me see if I can show you guys how exactly I do this. By the way, this is how I do all my time lapses. It is lit You guys are literally sitting on top of a blender. A ninja blender, by the way. Thank you, Dr. Greg. All right, so I've measured this out before. That's why I'm not gonna measure it out right now. I know about how much 15 grams is. All right, that's 15 grams. And one full serving is two tablespoons of that and that is 30 calories per serving. So that's 15 calories right there. Hot sauce is very minimal, it just says zero. So you can really put as much as this as you would like without it making too much of a difference. And I just grabbed the knife that I cut my chicken up with, sort of mix it all in together like so. And it might not be the prettiest looking one, but I promise you guys, this stuff tastes so good. It m really makes the chicken sandwich game on a different level. This is like a Chick-fil-A level sauce right here. And then, that's the what the final product looks like. Just smush that bad boy right on top. We are good to go. Alright guys, so as I'm eating this post-workout meal, I figured I'd get back to the topic of this video. Should you lean bulk or should you dirty bulk? When I first started the gym, I went straight on to the dirty bulk game. And I had a lot of fun with it. I did not see the best results, but it definitely got me long-term invested into bettering my body, which was important. So if you're like never done anything in the gym, I'm just gonna let you know, no, it's not going to make you get bigger, like gain more muscle faster. You will get bigger faster, but it won't be from, it won't be all muscle. You'll gain a lot of fat. But that's not like, it's not the end of the world if you get like a little bit bulkier, especially if you were like super skinny like I was when I first started. You realize once you start going to the gym, how many people in the world like have a lot of body fat. So it's not like just because you can't see your six pack, it doesn't mean that you're like getting obese or something like that. Like it's not that big of a deal for real. Like if I were to make a suggestion, I'd say to lean bulk and gain around two to three pounds a month maximum. But if you wanted to get crazy and dirty bulk and add on four to five pounds a month and you're like 120 or 130 pounds, I mean, just go for it, man. Because like, if it gets you in going to the gym regularly and caring about what you're doing with your body, like you'll figure it out as you go along. The important thing is just starting. Like, I seriously have no idea, as you guys can probably tell, like what I'm doing with making these YouTube videos, but I'm just like starting and just seeing where it takes me. And to be quite honest, I'm having a lot of fun doing it. The whole process to me is so interesting. Like recording yourself at the gym, trying to get cool angles, like getting to edit the video afterwards and trying to like learn how to Photoshop and make those thumbnails. Like I've never Photoshopped or edited a video in my entire life and I've done now at the time of recording this video. I've edited two videos, made three thumbnails, and I'm gonna edit a third video when I'm done filming this tonight. And it is just so much fun to me. Currently, I am using iMovie to edit on my phone. Otherwise, I would show you guys me editing. But soon, I will be learning how to edit on Adobe Premiere. I've got a friend that his, his channel name is Tutor P. He's got a few thousand subscribers. He makes content completely different than mine, but I'll leave a link in the description of his channel if you guys want to go check him out. He's like really good at editing. He says he can help me out some, so hope, I hope he can because I just really want to get good at editing because 
it's so much fun to me. I feel like I could definitely do that for a full-time job if if I like get good enough at it, I'd definitely be interested in doing something like that. Anyways though, I'm sort of getting out off on a tangent. So basically, if you want to see the best results possible, I would suggest lean bulking, eating your, getting your micronutrients good with the fruits and vegetables. That's really helped me feel better. No, it's not going to help you gain or lose weight. It's calories in, calories out. That's how it, that's just how it works. But if you can get your micronutrients in, I truly believe that it just like enhances your life in general. So, but if you go on a dirty bulk is what like, you're just going to like get fat faster. But like I said before, if it gets you going to the gym and caring about your body, go for it. It's not that big of a deal. But anyways, guys, this is my last meal of the day. Like I said, I'll put the calorie totals in the bottom corner somewhere. I will see you guys next time. Peace.